You're dressed a bit odd to what I'm used to seeing around here. What are those on your feet? Mind you, I have seen all sorts in my lifetime. I was born in 1237. I know, not looking bad for my age, am I? Have you heard of Kirby Market Cross? It looks like a big block of stone, but it's protected and classed as a monument because it's been here since 1216. It was closer to old Kirkby village and it used to have a, a brilliant cross on the top of it. But they moved it a few yards since they built them new fangled road things. And did you know Kirkby used to have its own castle? Well, it was more of a Mott and Bailey style castle, but still a castle nonetheless. In 1284, it was in the ownership of a man called Robert de Stuteville, who came from a great Norman family. But he was a little bit naughty, mind you, and upset King Edward I by failing to attend the royal summons. In fact, originally, the king fined him and expected him to pay a hundred marks for every night's fee he held. But then the king decided to pardon him and instead came to Kirkby Castle on the 19th of February 1292 on his way from Bex at Plesley to Codner Castle. He even stayed the night. All that remains now, there were a few mounds in the West Field at St Wilfred's Church. But, hey, you never know. You could be walking alongside the footsteps of royalty round here.